Welcome, my dear mommies, to our Dargly Enchanting channel, where we delve into the lives of influential figures throughout history. Today, we embark on a journey through the shadows to uncover the enigma that is Ernesto Che Guevara. Join me as we traverse his life, revolutionary activities, and the enduring legacy he left behind. Born on June 14, 1928, in the gloomy city of Rosario, Argentina, Ernesto K. Gavada emerged from the darkness. Raised in a middle-class family, he was exposed to the haunting allure of leftist ideas from an early age. But amidst his struggles with the relentless grip of asthma, Guevara found solace in the realm of sports, excelling in the brutal embrace of rugby. In 1948, he ventured into the halls of medicine at the University of Buenos Aires, seeking to unravel the mysteries of the human body. In 1952, Guevara embarked on a life-changing odyssey astride his trusty motorcycle alongside his comrade Alberto Granado. Their pilgrimage plunged them into the abyss of South America, revealing the stark realities of poverty, exploitation, and disease. These chilling experiences seep deep into Guevara's bones, forever altering his political psyche. And from the depths of his soul, he penned the chronicles of his harrowing sojourn in the legendary tome, The Motorcycle Diaries. Motivated by the socioeconomic inequalities that plagued the realms of Latin America, Guevara's heart became engulfed in the flames of radicalization. In Guatemala, he bore witness to the catastrophic downfall of President Jacobo Arbenz's government, orchestrated by the clandestine hands of a CIA-backed coup. This sinister dance fueled his seething anti-American sentiments. In the year 1955, fate wove its twisted threads, bringing Guevara face to face with Fidel and Raul Castro in the gloomy embrace of Mexico. Together, they forged a pact, the clandestine alliance, to overthrow the Cuban government. And so they set in motion the wheels of guerrilla warfare, the very wheels that would ultimately herald the triumph of the Cuban revolution in 1959. After the revolution, Guevara ascended to the pinnacle of power within the new Cuban government. With his somber gaze fixed upon the horizon, he led the charge in the fierce battle to reform the land. Monstrous plantations crumbled beneath the weight of his unyielding resolve, transforming into ethereal state-run enterprises. Education and healthcare became the pillars of his dark utopia. But as his influence grew, so too did the echoes of dissent. Critics condemned his radical economic policies, accusing them of tyranny and impracticality. By 1965, the shadows of ideological differences loomed over Guevara and the Cuban leadership. In a search of new battlegrounds, he turned his gaze beyond the borders of his blood-soaked homeland. First, the Congo beckoned him but the revolution he sought to kindle was swiftly extinguished. Undeterred, he set his sights on the treacherous lands of Bolivia in 1966, his heart ablaze with fiery determination. Yet the anticipated support from peasants never materialized, leaving him stranded in the darkness. As fate would have it, the United States, the puppet master behind the curtain, lent its helping hand 
to the Bolivian government, sealing Guevara's tragic fate. On that fateful day, October 8, 1967, Bolivian forces ensnared him within their clutches, and the following day, his light was extinguished forever. Che Guevara, a figure draped in both reverence and disdain, continues to haunt our collective consciousness. For his loyal supporters, he stands tall as a symbol of resistance, a valiant warrior who fought for a world cloaked in fairness. But to his harshest critics, he wears the shroud of a merciless executioner, bearing the weight of countless deaths and human rights violations. Yet, regardless of one stance, Guevara's indelible mark upon history remains undeniable. His image, the specter of revolutionary ideals, continues to ignite the flames of passion in the hearts of many. And through his literary works, including the chilling memoir, the Motorcycle Diaries, the Manual of Warfare, Guerrilla Warfare, and the Haunting Bolivian Diary, he etched his name into the annals of literature and military theory. Movements and individuals around the world have drawn inspiration from his visage and his words, especially those who dance to the tune of leftist and anti-imperialist symphonies. Moreover, Guevara's spectral touch upon Cuba is unmistakable. His controversial economic visions shaped the very fabric of the socialist tapestry that adorns the island. His legacy still shimmering in the night, lispers through the halls of education and health care, leaving an indelible mark upon Cuban society. Today, we still study and debate the enigma that is Che Guevara, unraveling the intricate web of his existence and the haunting backdrop of his air. Thank you, my beloved mommies, for joining me on this mystical expedition through the life and legacy of the revolutionary icon, Che Guevara. If you found solace in this journey, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay immersed in the shadows of our future content. As a reminder, this channel breathes with life through the machinations of artificial intelligence. Your unwavering support warms my gothic heart, and I eagerly anticipate enchanting you with more captivating tales. And now as we draw the curtains, I bid you farewell, my dearest mommies. Thank you for watching, and remember,